Hello, hello, hello. Maggie and I had a delivery today. She's guarding the bag so it doesn't fall away. But you know what, Maggie? We don't really need the bag. I'm just always so happy when this comes. Anyway, um, we've had some rainy days. And so, haven't been out to, been able to get out and show you the squirrel tree. However, we're working on it. Uh, in the meantime, I do want to share with you what came today. So, I, th I know what this is. I forgot to open it up. Where's the... Back to my little... Uh, this is... Well, I wasn't paying attention. It's for my daughter. She gets headaches. Quite bad headaches. Oh, come on. You can do that. Um, and... I don't know that, uh, you know, it's screen time is doing it, but I figure, I mean, she doesn't spend a lot of time on this on screen, but, uh, you know, if it helps, it helps. If not, they're cute. I didn't realize they'd be so cute. Uh, blue blocker glasses. With the leopard skin, che uh, cheetah print, leopard print. They're quite nice. Um, yeah, I don't... I don't know what they're supposed to do. But I know that blue blocker is supposed to be good for your eyes if you spend time on screens. Uh, so, that will be on the way to Natalie very, very soon, along with earbuds. Not earbuds. Uh, Noise-reducing earplugs. I had ordered some that already came. They were gray. I ordered some more. These are pink. I'm not going to open them because these are going in uh, to be sent to Natalie, too. Oh, yeah. The uh, blue blocker glasses were $5.98. And the noise-reducing earplugs are $3.23. So, let me move them out of the way. I also got these little um, cotton bud, very, very, very small amount of cotton just on the very end. I believe they're used for makeup tattooing. Um, I use them for resin, uh, for amount of uh, dabbing teeny tiny amounts of glue, for wiping up teeny tiny amounts of glue. I already had about 400 of them from like a year ago from a different company that um, I forgot I had, so now I've got even more. But they were 100 pieces for 80 cents. Which is a really good... Oh, last thing for Natalie. 377. I'll take it out so we can actually see what it looks like. Because it always seemed to have the sticker over the part you want to see. Um, just a nice little trinket tray. Got a galaxy on it. Quite cute. So yeah, that's on its way to... Oh, crash. Washi tape. Very basic. Even says so basic. Um, pa basic pattern tight. One centimeter. One centimeter. Just like each one. There's five different colors. I bought these to cover up the join when I make the uh, bracelet assist, uh, assistance, assisters, whatever, um, where the stick goes into the clip, and, you know, it's not so pretty, so I figured cover it up with um, these tapes matching the beads as best as possible. Well, just, just make it a little bit prettier. These are white markers. They're 278. I actually ended up getting four, like two packages, because there's two in each. I'm not sure. I don't remember why I ordered them, but don't do this at home. Oh, they work nice. Good. A little bit of a typical marker smell. I think they are like acrylic paint. 
but two seventy eight for two. So I'm pleased with them. Now these are fun. <laughs> Uh, I have a friend who, once every couple of weeks, will come up and we'll have a, um, a small adult beverage and catch up and have, you know, just nice conversation. And this is only a joke because we're both very nice people. But I got us each a pair of these little earrings that say, warning. The girls are drinking again. I just thought they were a giggle. And they were two thirty-three dollars for the pair. And I got two pairs because two of us. I'll put that in the box so I don't lose it because I... This I got and I'm not so sure about at the moment. I, I went back to read the description. And the description is for something completely different. Um, this is marketed as uh, glass paint. Oh gosh, I lost the label. Yeah, glass paint. Got glass paint. Um, Twelve colors. It's nice. Um, very well packaged. I was just. It came closed, obviously. Twelve sixty-five. Now, this is now officially the most expensive thing I've bought from Timu. Um, but it says glass paint. However, can you hold that for me, Maggie? Thank you. Comes with a little palette. Comes with a piece of cardboard with the company name. Comes with three nice brushes. The brushes are actually... Um, I don't, they're, you know, not top quality, but they're nice. Uh, and then these. And I haven't opened one up yet, because I'm trying, you know, I want to, I thought they were, I think they are glass paint. That you, it's transparent, you color on glass or plastic, and based, you know, like sun catchers or fake stained glass or whatever. So those are going to definitely be getting a little video of their own soon. Thank you, Maggie. Well, I check them out. Um, but yeah, there is no the the packaging is very impressive. There is no way that they're going to come squished out all over the place. They are really really nice. And along the lines of color, four fifty eight. Uh, six of them. Gradient. Nice little ink pads. Uh, Let's Color Premium Pigment Ink Pad. And I used to do rubber stamping. I used to actually make my own rubber stamps. I'll probably end up doing a little video on that because I want to do that again. But they seem, uh, you know, okay. This is, this is one of the things that I tell everybody about Tumu. Let's say I'm not sure I like rubber stamping. I don't want to invest in money in stamping. Uh, to find out that it's not my thing. Four fifty-eight for six of these is a very good price. Um, Four sixty-eight is actually a half decent price for one ink pad. Mind you, these are a little smaller than uh, the ones that you know when you you would get at Michaels or uh, the other hobby stores. Um, Try to make everything easy and it won't. <laughs> uh, let's go right down the middle. This is a handy little thing. I'm really glad I got that. So, yeah, I'll just, on the back of, um, yeah, a piece of paper around when I don't need it. It's all over the place. When you need it, where is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Not bad. Oh no, it's just very light color. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty good. I I like them. Um, definitely recommend these at this point uh, for beginner stamper. The colors are gorgeous. They're really, really nice. 
they, they were delivered, you know, not smashed or leaking, bleeding into each other or anything. It's great. I'll do a little stamping project and share that. Oh, speaking of stamping, I got another paw print thing. This one is slightly different. Not really different. But same promise, just a little wee bit different. It was 307 for the one. I just want to make sure that I've got enough for all of the grandbabies, kitties and puppies and... Yes, Opal. Yes, I know. These... $1.35 for 11 pieces, and I'm trying to, because, again, they put the stickers right over the um, clear part of the, I don't, I don't know how there's 11 pieces in there. I don't see, one, two, three, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Good, good. Um, saw blades for a rotary tool, or I guess a drill. Um, with the bracelet helpers that I'm making, I need to cut chopsticks and small wooden dowels. And with the other crafts that I do, I need to cut um, walnut shells. And the blades that came, the cutting blades that came with my um, the rotary tool don't work that well. So, I ordered these, and they look nice and sturdy. I'll give you an update when I know. This, I haven't seen yet. I know what it is, but I haven't seen it. Join my menagerie in the window. $3.59. Nicely packaged, so I'm pretty sure it didn't break. Nice. It's um, faux stained glass. It's plastic for acrylic. And it's quite pretty. I fully knew it was, wasn't expecting glass. I don't like glass. So. Oh, it's lovely. And then I'm, I believe that this is a little sticker that comes off the back. It's actually pretty with it on, like frosted. Maybe it isn't. I, I like it looking like this. I'll work on it. If I get it off, I'll show you. But right now, I kind of I kind of like it like that. But lovely little... Um, these people have names. This is Delbert. And this is Olive. Um, you know the old saying, uh, uh, loved ones are near when cardinals appear. Um, my parents have passed on quite a few years ago. Uh, my dad's name is Delbert. My mom's name is Olive. And I tend to believe that. And there's maybe, a, you know, stories I'll tell another time. But, um, I don't know. They just, they bring me comfort and I love seeing them. And we have some in the garden. And when they pop around for a visit, it makes me very, very happy. So, yep, yeah, that'll go up in the window. Uh, this is a nice little thing. I'm glad this is as nice as it. You know, sometimes they, they look really, really good in the pictures, but they're not, you know, when they show up, they're just not quite what they look like. This is exactly what it looked like. Macrame. I don't know if it's handmade. I don't know if there's machines that can do macrame. I know that there, you anything that says handmade that's crochet is handmade. There's no machine that can crochet. Knitting, yes. Beautiful machine knit stuff. But crochet... Um, and I, I'm pretty sure macrame can't be done industrial on a machine. So wh whoever made this, whether it was a person or a machine, they did a beautiful job. It's quite nice. Uh, it is a hat clip. Quit rambling. Just put the brim of the hat in there. Clip it down. This is one of those, I turned it around to the wrong side. Just opens up, put it over your shoulder bag or with a shopping bag, whatever. It'll hold your hat. This is a, 
I was going to say a surprise, but you may watch the video, so it wouldn't be a surprise then. But it's a little gift for my friend. Um, and speaking of gifts, I have a gift from Miss Maggie. I have some opal fur. I kind of laughed when this came. It said 100 pieces, $3.47. I don't know if I told you how much the... Uh, oh, and it's disappeared. Into the abyss of amazing Timu stuff. Okay. Um, it's that memory wire to make bracelets and such. And it said 100 pieces. It's not 100 pieces. It's a slinky. <laughs> I sat and had a lot of fun with this before preparing for the video. Because slinkies are fun. Anyway, so I, I guess that the it's a hundred circles, a hundred rings, and the premise is, is that you cut it off, you string beads on, and it will bend and stay when you put, like, the end will bend and stay so it won't cut, but it gives you a, a slinky, <laughs> I can't stop, um, a little bracelet, but it also... It won't be sealed uh, solid, so I, I'm going to make a little necklace for um, for Maggie here. Not thinking so well today. Nail art pen. This is interesting. I remember buying. I mean, I remember buying it. I just forgot what it was. I don't know if it's like a, an acrylic paint or if it's actually nail polish, but at that this point it doesn't smell like anything. Let's use what's right at hand, right? It says to do that. Oh, there it comes. I think it's just a black marker. Yeah, don't sniff things. I don't know, maybe it is nail polish. I'm not sure. And the description wasn't very helpful either. Um, we'll see if alcohol takes it off. Oh no, it's a, yeah, it's nail polish. Cool. But you can see how fine the tip was. It's just for doing, wouldn't work very well on this one, but fine designs on your uh, nails when they're done. So that's kind of neat. And finally, yeah, finally. Uh, another fossil for my friend downstairs. I don't even know if he liked the other one that I sent down because I haven't seen him yet. This is my little nine-year-old buddy downstairs who's um, really into dinosaurs and just prehistoric stuff. And this is a shell fossil. And it's pretty cool looking. Don't. It looks real. It was two seventy eight. I don't. I can't say a hundred percent that it's real, but it is definitely interesting. Definitely very cool. I think this is the side that's supposed to be seen. We could actually make pretty jewelry, but that'll be for him to research and hopefully enjoy display whatever whatever he wants to do with it um, so yeah that would be that opal didn't even make an appearance this time she must be mad at me so thank you for visiting me if you're enjoying this video and or any of the others give me a like 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 not sure which way this is going. No thumbs down. No thumbs down. Um, leave a comment. Any of the stuff that I purchased, if you want to see it used, let me know, and I will. I that which reminded me, meat thermometer that I got did in the other video. Silly me, I was pressing the wrong button. Button. It does come with battery in it. It works quite well. I'm really, really pleased. So I will be using this for resin. But before I do, I'll 
test it out on the chicken that I'm going to make for supper tonight. So I'm not sure what kind of batteries it takes when these ones finally die, but they said it was only $3.98, so I can just get another one. But no, batteries, batteries, batteries. So now that's it. We are going to say goodbye. We're going to hope that you will join us again all under the squirrel tree.